welcome everybody to the final episode of Legendary or Bust here on Dynasty Central Sports. If you're new to the channel, smash like down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon, throw us a comment. But last time we left off, we're just going to quick jump in. Caleb Hartford was mulling over some offers because he's left the Miami Dolphins, the team that drafted him fourth overall, fourth round in the 2021 draft. And we are going to select the new team to uh, that we're going to head. Take a look at the teams. I think I've already decided and I want to go to... The New England Patriots. I think the uh, the addition to the Patriots because they just they have Dustin Crum, who is not exactly a starting quarterback uh, talent. So we can just move in and uh, into the offense, into the the uh, the lineup, and just start immediately without the instant star. We're jumping ahead already because I am just going to be simming through a bevy of seasons so please pay attention to the video because if you want to keep track of how he develops over his NFL career this is it but I'm going to be talking mostly about what is happening here so please try to keep up Caleb Hartford now is an 83 overall he's 25 and he is jumping into his first starting season as the England New England Patriots and after Half of the season so far. He start his first starting season. He's got 20 touchdowns, five interceptions, um, incredible numbers. First in the uh, in the league in touchdowns and yards. After one year, uh, the first season we have made the playoffs. We're nine and seven as the Patriots are going to play the wild card game against the Bengals, and uh, we are an 84 overall right now with morale. So uh, we're going to throw on an upgrade 83 now because eight morale is a plus two. So we're 83 technically. After our third year, we're a star dev trait, which is pretty good. 4,280 yards passing in our first year starting. 37 touchdowns and eight interceptions. Cannot ask for any better numbers. Second in the NFL, third in the NFL for touchdowns. Just incredible numbers. Rushing, not too bad. Four touchdowns each for our rushing touch, uh, running backs. And let's see how we do in the playoffs. We do not make it to the uh, to Super Bowl. The Packers and the Chiefs. Packers were one of the teams to offer us. So it's uh, interesting. If we accepted that offer, we'd be in the Super Bowl. But most likely, we'd be a backup quarterback to Jordan Love or even if a uh, Aaron Rodgers is still there. We are now a superstar dev trade after the set first year in New England. 86 overall, but 84 with uh, morale. Um, we did win QB of the year in the, uh, I believe, the AFC. Um, and we're going to be adding an ability slot. Uh, I think we're going to go in, inside Deadeye, hopefully to upgrade his accuracy even a little bit more. It just seems to be the best of those three, um, especially for a passing quarterback. Tr just trying to make sure his uh, accuracy is on on point. Or, you know, let's go with quick draw. I think that's even a, a terrible name for a trade. But, you know, Trevor Lawrence uh, leads the Vikings to a 10-6 and record and wins the MVP. Uh, we did get third in MVP voting and second in AFC Offensive Player of the Year award, right behind uh, Patrick Mahomes, ahead of Tua Tagovailoa. So suck it. Um, here we go. Let's see if we win best quarterback, which I've already covered, so it's not really a shock. Um, most likely, so far, our best season. Um, Mainly because it's our only season so far starting. And we did win best quarterback of the AFC. Just wanted to double check that. And uh, Zach Pascal and Tylen Wallace. Two and three of best wide receiver. Moving to preseason. We're going to add another superstar trait. 
uh, to our build. I think we're going to do with Pocket Deadeye, but I don't know for sure. Go check them out. Um, check them out. I was just kind of reading some of these, but some of them don't really make sense, especially for uh, Caleb. I want to improve his passing numbers as best as I can. Um, hopefully bring the Patriots back to the Super Bowl. But uh, so far, he's an 84 overall. Um, we have all these extra uh, uh, abilities. Not really. Some of them I'm reading. Uh, some of them I'm not. I'm just trying to make sure. See, the tight ends would be a good one. But uh, I'm trying not to. I, I don't know what I'm passing to in the Sims. So I just want to have a broad um, spectrum of abilities. So let's go with. Maybe Pocket Deadeye. Yeah, Pocket Deadeye seems the best for um, all types of passes or at least passing in the sim. We're going to sim ahead to the regular season. Start off in week one. We got another upgrade for Caleb. How is he going to start the season? We got one more upgrade. He's an 85 overall. Started as a 75 back as a rookie. So he's now a superstar dev trait. He is 85 overall, and we are going to uh, sim ahead to the playoffs. Um, <clears throat> but first, let's take a look at the depth chart. As I was saying, Def Dustin Crum is our backup quarterback. Let's take a look at the team real quickly. Um, see the type of talent we're surrounded by. Chase Claypool, uh, Zach Pascal, Quentin Douglas, Jared Schultz, Josh Culliver, our, uh, our receivers out there. And so let's move ahead in the season to the playoffs. See how this whole season goes. We do not make the playoffs. It does not look very good for us. We lost to the Bengals in the final game of the season. Never can be a good one when you lose to the Bengals. No offense to any Bengals fans out there, but uh, it's just always a bad omen. I don't know why. We're up to an 89 overall after a couple upgrades there. Um, 87, but obviously with morale. 27, uh, 27 years old now. Five years in the league, two starting. And let's take a look at the stats. 30 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Those look more like Caleb numbers. 4,000 yards, 470 yards passing. Uh, the same amount attempts as last season. That's consistency. And we have two touchdowns on the ground. Trevor Lawrence leads the league again in yards. And most likely will be the MVP. But let's take a look after this sim. Uh, we're going to move ahead. We're not even going to look. Jaguars lost the Super Bowl. Number 59 to the Dallas Cowboys. 34-49. We're going to upgrade again after the season. We're up to a 91 now. 87 overall total. 28 years old. Six years out of Oregon. You guys have been with us since the beginning. We're going to just sim another full season to Super Bowl 60. We got the Detroit Lions against the Cleveland Browns. Apparently hell has frozen over, boys and girls this is not looking good for the world if the browns and lions are in the super bowl caleb harper leading the patriots to a 4 and 12 record still gets some votes for mvp that is nice to see at least the accolades are there he got fourth place voting for offensive player of the year even though in a 4 and 12 season so not not bad seventh overall in the afc voting as well for best quarterback um we got one year remaining on our contract after the season <clears throat> i want to see i want to see the league um i think the the patriots just they're not they're not there yet so we are gonna go to off season we're gonna demand to release our contract and we're gonna do it all over again we're gonna check out some free agent offers see where we're gonna go um would like to maybe go back east coast i don't know uh east coast my, I meant west coast maybe out to la the rams though three and 13 arizona six nine and one 
Uh, not great. The Dolphins want us back to back up Tua. No thanks. 92.4 over five years. Sean McVay is a fantastic coach. Uh, I don't know. The Patriots want us back, but I'm not going back. The Seahawks look pretty good. Anthony Lynn. Uh, I do like the West Coast zone run a little bit more. Um, more of the short passes. The vertical power run is a good offense, though. <clears throat> I want to make a difference, though. I don't want to go to Seattle. I want to make a difference in a new franchise. So, it's really tough. It's between the, the Colts and the Seahawks for me right now. I just... LA Rams are really talking to me. I would love to go back to LA for Caleb and, uh, you know, control one of the hometown teams. Seattle, though, but the money doesn't really matter to me. It really does. Uh, we're going to go with the Colts. All right, we're in 91 overall. We got an upgrade to 92. Uh, looking okay in that blue and white. We are um, in a new season. Uh, new season, 4,141 yards, 30 touchdowns, 8 interceptions in our first season in uh, Indianapolis. And uh, we are going to... Uh, I don't think we made playoffs. Nope, we went 6-8-2. and two. Let's take a look at the stats. 4,000 yards, like I was saying, and not great enough for uh, any of the top numbers. Let's look at the, take a look at the receivers. Raphael Beckford, not too bad. 14th in the NFL for uh, passing touchdowns with 30. All right, well, not a bad first season. The Colts just aren't very good, so let's hopefully turn it around in this season for our second of the season, and we're going to play Look Who It Is, the Miami Dolphins in Week 1 action. Uh, the second season in, the, in Indianapolis, we're going to add another upgrade let's do another one to fill general yeah let's move that up 93 overall total fantastic numbers for us though and uh we're 30 uh years old eight years in the league and uh this is after this new season with the colts 36 touchdowns 15 interceptions the first season we have not thrown 4,000 yards uh, just shy of 4,000 yards with 3,993. <clears throat> and we did not make playoffs again. We went 5-11. and 11. I just, I don't know. Should we stick it out here, guys? Indianapolis, I want to see the league. I want to, I, I don't know if I want to stick in one spot any much longer. Um, let's give the Colts... Let's give the Colts one more season and uh, and see if we can bring in a championship, make the playoffs. If we don't make the playoffs or if we don't get past the first round, um, let's, uh, let's leave. So this is the third season. This is it for the you Colts fans. My batteries control, my controller batteries are low, but who cares? Let's move ahead. With the third season in Indianapolis. Take a look at the depth chart for this final season. Gardner Minshew. My backups. The uh, the stash. The blast from the stash. Gardner Minshew. Or Vanilla Vic as Bengals that calls him. 93 overall still as a 31 year old quarterback. This is after the third season. Let's take a look at the stats. 4,534 yards. Fantastic numbers for Caleb. But, well, one Pro Bowl appearance, not great. Still only have the one QB, best QB award, and we do not make the playoffs or the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 64 is between the Vikings and the Los Angeles Chargers. Hmm. Chargers. 
if they offer me, that'd be interesting. We'd have to, we'd be going back to Southern California, play in front of our, our family, our friends. I wonder, I didn't even, I forgot to look up Gio Saria. Uh, 4,000 yards though, after uh, the fourth season, we're going to stay, we, we stayed another season. We went four seasons for the Indianapolis Colts. We did not make playoffs again. We are getting disrespected in all the voting categories. Didn't even make best quarterback. Absolutely garbage. Who is voting out there? All right, I'm done. Let's head home. Hopefully the Rams or the Chargers will offer me because I'd love to finish up my career in Southern California. Uh, back home where I used, where we all started. Where we all started episode one it looks like the rams did offer me a contract let's take a look at it they're seven nine and op jones i don't know who it is 37 million dollars for two years that seems about the going rate the colts well not root going back there um doug marone as the cowboys offering as well I don't know. I don't know. I'd rather just go back home, um, play in front of my old friends and family. My parents are still in Southern California, and uh, I would love to just play in front of them, finish up my career with my family all there together in Southern California. Let's take a look. We got the Steelers. They offering as well the Colts. No way. We got the Giants and the Washington football team who has never named themselves after all these years. The Jets, the Packers again, but they're five and seven on the way out in the lowest money of all offers. We could go back to the Dolphins. Oh, there it is, guys. Run and shoot scheme. That is my scheme from high school. We ran the run and shoot in high school. We ran the run and shoot in first three years of my college career in Hawaii I'm looking at all these offers guys but uh, I really think I have to just go back home play in the run and shoot for the Chargers they just came off a Super Bowl win they went 11 and 5 they're offering the same amount of money as almost all these teams taking a look at all the rest of the offers football team is still they're still named the football team. I, I think that's hilarious. All right, guys. We're just going to pick the Los Angeles Chargers. Finish off our career in Los Angeles. Guys, this is the perfect way to finish Caleb Hartford's big, big career. All right. Let's take a look at the depth chart. He is a 32-year-old quarterback. Um, 10 years in the league, a fantastic career so far for a fourth round pick. Um, taking a look at the list. Oh, hey, look, Beckford, he was our quarter, uh, one of our wide receivers in New, uh, not New England, he was uh, a Colt. So that's awesome. We uh, see an old friend in the Chargers locker room taking a look at the line. Who cares? We are simming ahead already. One season under our belt. Let's see. Ugh. Ugh. 3,808 yards passing. Not great. 12 interceptions. Let's take a look at the games. Ugh. Four interceptions in the last game of the season. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Well, it's a two-year contract. We're going to play off this. Let's just play out the end of this contract and we're going to retire. I think Caleb Hartford has had quite a career. We have gone over 30 episodes of Caleb Hartford's career and uh, it's all culminating in these final seasons in the Los Angeles Chargers. And uh, guys, it's it's been awesome. Um, if you guys watched every episode of this series, I have to give you 100 and a million props for sticking with us, following the career of Caleb, giving the likes and the subscribe and the comments when you can. 
let's finish up this final season in Los Angeles for the Chargers and make the playoffs. Let's go in, make the playoffs, and uh, hopefully finish up our career with the Chargers in a Super Bowl win. We have one more season to go. Let's take a look and see how it is. Here we go. Let's take a look. Those were the final stats of his first season with the Chargers. Now we go. Let's sim the season to the playoffs. We do make the playoffs. We went 11-5, and five, won our division. Let's take a look at the stats. Hit me with some good stats, boys and girls. Ooh, fourth in the NFL in passing touchdowns. Not great in yards, though. Didn't hit 4,000, even though that seems to be our money spot. Um, gave Beckford 11 touchdowns. Let's win this game against the Browns and uh, hopefully come away with another win, go into the playoffs and get a big win. We do not. We lost. Oh, we did. We beat the Browns. Let's beat the Bills, and we do not. Caleb does make AFC first Pro Bowl quarterback voting, so that's that's pretty cool. That's our second Pro Bowl of our career, and uh, a great way to end it, um, being a, an all-star at the top level of the league. The Bears and the Titans in Super Bowl 66. Take a look. Cody Winters. Oh my God. The Patriots quarterback. I should have seen that coming. We left the Patriots and they turned off, out to be awesome. We still go to the Chargers. We go 11-5 and five and we still don't get any awards. That, that really esteems my Oakleys. Alright guys. Well, <clears throat> you know, like I said. You guys stuck with us this whole series, and I am so thankful for you guys watching this and uh, following along with Caleb and giving all the support that you have been giving. But we are going to, uh, we're not getting offered a contract from the Chargers for this season. We could get some more offers, continue our career, but we're a 34 year old quarterback and. Uh, we we could we could go a couple more years i know we could but uh you know what i think this is a great time to say goodbye to caleb and this series i appreciate you guys for watching we have retired from the nfl even though it says i am undrafted that's not true fourth round bitch number 279 player in the nfl all-time legacy score fantastic Thank you for watching Legendary Bus Series One, Season One, Caleb Hartford. For the last time, later, guys. Mm -hmm.